Oh, there's a suitcase. What the heck? Let me bring this out. It's like it's locked. But it looks like it's uh, at least from the 50s or 40s. What do you think we should do? Take it back to my office and just pry this thing open, see what's in there? Yeah. <coughs> Ready? One, two, three. So it's Friday afternoon and I'm trying to get all my work done here in the office, but I need to get out into the field. If you want to know what looks like inside my head, that. Look at my desk. So I've got different jobs. That's not a good way to run your business, but I get all these projects out and I need Bronwyn. You have got to help me get organized. So I know and you I'm get, an organized mess. So. Yeah, and you're an organized mess. So <laughs> we, we need to call a 911. We need help here. This is at the end of the week. Everything that's going right and wrong is now on my desk. We'll organize it and we'll hit it again on Monday. So I'm gonna get out in the field. You're gonna come with me and see who's out there working in the hot weather today. Yeah, so I'll see you day. Monday. Yeah. Wait, I need my phone. I don't really want it, but I need it. Okay, what else I got? That's it. All right, bye. Okay, so we'll just leave the town. I got a couple jobs right now here in the town I live in. Uh, one's about ready for drywall and one Alex is framing. I'm going to go see if he's over there and see if he's talking to his wife on the phone. Okay, we're off to the house that we did the swim spa in. We are should be getting real ready for insulation if it hasn't started already. We're getting estimates on the stone for the outside. And then we can also give you an update on the swimming pool uh, backyard that we're doing. My buddy Al Reedman, he moved here from Seattle and uh, he's creating quite the compound for himself. So I see guys working over there, but no one's at this house, which tells me we're either waiting on inspections or we're waiting on drywall. Let's go see what we're waiting on. Okay, so let's go take a look. We were here just uh, a couple of days ago. I did an update, but sometimes things move pretty quick. This house, again, the electricians were just finishing up. I haven't had a chance to visit with my superintendent, so a lot of times I'll just come on my own, take a look, and then when I meet with him on Monday, I kind of know where we're at on all the jobs. Okay, well, here's what's interesting. We, we have to put up purple drywall because that's not a normal color. It used to be green. This is a moisture resistant drywall. And why we're putting it in here is this is the where the swim pool, swim pool spa is. We only have it on a couple walls right now is because I need this up so that I can put the insulation foam on the other side. I need something on the wall to support that spray foam. And that's where we're at right now at this stage. So here's what's kind of cool. We have a sliding glass door. And what's nice about these doors, these Anderson doors, is they're clad. So there's no wood on them whatsoever. So their moisture is not going to be a problem from the swimming spa side when that thing is running. Plus, we put in a huge exhaust fan and its own heating and cooling system to keep the moisture and the, uh, you know, the smell down. Here's what's left of the purple drywall. More of that will go in that room, but I can't do it yet until we insulate. This little tubing right here is something we do for the television. So we have an outlet for the TV. This blue tube goes all the way over to the pantry. So all the controls, so your cable boxes, all that does not need to be anywhere near your television. We put those in a whole nother room. So this is a, a sleeve that will allow that to happen. And here's all the speakers and cabling and what have you that they're putting in a cabinet on this wall that will house some of that as well. I'm gonna look upstairs real quick and see if we've gotten all our inspections. It's hot in here. Don't wanna stay any in any longer than we have to. As you know, heat rises. So I'm looking around. I don't know where they, uh, where they put the, the permit. So that's not it. But anyway, I gotta check with Mark. It looks like we're waiting on maybe an inspection and because the next step here is insulation. Let me show you one more little detail that we're real anal about. We even caulk these two by fours that come together to keep any air from coming in. So this is the stuff that you gotta pay attention to now because you can never go back later and correct that. It's the complaints we get going, hey, it's 40 mile an hour winds and the temperature's 10. I can feel air blowing through my outlets. That's what we want to avoid. I don't know where they're sticking the inspection stickers. Maybe I know in the electrical box. 
The last place I'll check is the electrical box, which is in the garage. That's probably where they're putting the stickers. No, every inspector kind of has their little place where they stick them and I don't know where that is. So let's go over here and check on Al. I think his swimming pool is getting built. We were there last time showing all the stone being set with the steps. He's handling the swimming pool part of it. My job is once that's in, I'll come back and then I'll build the guest house for him. Hey neighbor. Hey, Al, I thought I saw some pans being set, but you're getting close, right? <laughs> on your pool? We are, yeah. we are. We're waiting for a couple panels. You did a cameo been... last time. Now you're a regular on the Brad the Builder show. Uh, I, yeah. I, matter of fact, had my first person contact me, say, did you see yourself on, on YouTube? Oh, is that right? Yep. You're a star? Yeah. I, well, I, I got to get you a Brad the Builder shirt. I got you a hat. Remember, they're the talk of the town. Everybody I, wants one now. I understand. Yeah. So what do we got going on here? What have they done so far with you guys? You guys, uh, is that just the base you got down for the for yeah, the walls? Yeah, is that what you're doing? Down here, we, but these boulders that are coming in, it's going to be a boulder wall. Oh, so we got a boulder yeah. wall right yeah. here holding the, And yeah. this fence will come down. This fence completely. Yeah. The fence guy was here this morning. How, how deep are you going with your pool? Eight foot. Oh, eight foot deep. Well, we dug a hole up there, and we could get to seven, then we hit lake. Oh. So we're hoping further back up here, we can go to eight. Okay. That's the legal code for people to be able to dive in. I see. Oh, you're putting in a diving board. Nope, nope. We're putting in a dive rock. Oh. So we're oh. putting in a big boulder. Oh, how cool is that? Yeah. So, all right. So it looks all natural. Uh, Brad, the builder, is oh on the machine right there. So he's the designer. So he oh, okay. Designed. The other designer. The other, here's another oh, Brad. There, no. Oh. Yep. oh, there's that Brad. He's the other hey, designer. Hey, Brad. We're coming out of the ground. What are we down? Three foot here, and then up another five. This is about what our elevation is going to oh, be. Here. So you don't need a wall. Will you be putting in a wall there then? No. Oh, okay. That's just there's you just cut be, it out. There's going to be some boulder placements along the patio uh -oh. up there at the okay. steep part. I got gotcha. you. So all this is cut out, so you can get down. Then you're going to start building. Yeah, it back we up again. had a collapse yesterday. Oh. We had our road, and then it sloughed away. All so this well, to... welcome to sand, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it doesn't work with you dirt's a little better but that's messy too so yeah this is looking nice all right well I'm gonna see you uh, at flares uh, we're gonna do his pool coming up on Monday so we're gonna yep. get some creative thoughts this guy wants to do some cool stuff like Al so we'll tell him to leave his checkbook at home because it doesn't <laughs> matter we want something really cool kind of like Al he just he he has an open checkbook we love guys we love guys like you Al I have a wife with good taste. Oh, oh you have a wife with good taste that <laughs> right. just wants it nice yeah yeah I married a gal like that all right, well, we'll get out of your way. I see another load of rock coming yep. down. And uh, I'll check in with you. I'll see you for sure uh, in a couple of days going yes, over sir. the next pool. Yes, All right, sir. so bring your creative juices. All right, All thanks, right. Brad. thank you, Brad. This is something new. So what happens on these lakes is they look nice, sandy beaches, and all it takes is these wake boards that go by, wake boats, and they put out these huge wakes, and then it just eats the shoreline away. So they came in, and the homeowner did this himself and built this big kind of it's like fiberglass to hold the beach back and then he'll have grass or whatever up here so this will help prevent his beach from constantly er eroding hey Alan how did you get an outdoor job you're supposed to be in that house in the heat yeah I don't know you're, you're working awful close to that boat pretty soon you're gonna be in it well, it's looking good Al we're gonna keep him on our design team oh look at that thank you so much He's reading, reading my mind. All right, it's looking good, fellas. Thank you. See y'all. Thanks for stopping by, man. Yeah, you bet. This is for you. So once these guys get done, then they said I could come in. I'm just waiting on permits. The house is going to sit. It has one bedroom, uh, a little living room, kitchen, two bathrooms, one for the pool, one for the house. So that way people aren't running through this guest house. And then you'll turn around and be elevated up, and that'll be their view looking at the pool right out into the water. So it's gonna get built up pretty to a point where you might just see the, maybe the top part of that uh, boathouse. So I'm excited, it's gonna look nice. Most people can't see it done, but thank goodness uh, Al trusted us on all this and uh, it's gonna turn out fantastic. And his wife Chrissy, she's awesome. All right, so now since we're in the area, I'm gonna make one stop where Alex is framing another house for us. He's the same guy that did flares. Uh, we're gonna stop by and see how things are going there. Go 
second floor's on. We gotta get the roof rafters. Those will be next. So let's walk through real quick and see how it's looking. Find some shade. See if where the workers are hiding. Okay. Well, they got a lumber everywhere. Watch your head. So we're in the garage right here. This will be the last thing that goes on. They are using some of this as storage up above, and we have a set of stairs that goes up to an access to the second floor for uh, those a private office, but also that'll take you upstairs to the storage. So, hola! Found the, found the shade, eh? Mucho caliente, eh? Phew, need a fan? Jeez. Where's, where's Alex? Is he on the phone somewhere talking to his wife? That's funny. Any questions? Nothing, nothing, no good. Oops, is that your pop I knocked over? My bad. Ay, ay, ay. ay. <laughs> I'm not very handy on the job side of. I not put nothing together and I'm knocking over your Coca-Cola. <laughs> so let's walk through here real quick and see. Not the typical job site. I like it to keep a little bit cleaner, but these guys do such a great job. They usually just clean up at the end of the, uh, the week. So we'll see how they do by the end of today. But the work that they do, I'll take a mess over sloppy worksmanship. So they're the ones, same guys building Flair's house. They're doing this one. So just a couple days ago, they only had the first floor put on. They did that in two days. So it's been, actually, I pulled these guys off to help me on another job. So they've only been back here for about a day and a half and they've already got the second floor on. So these guys work really well together. So the siesta and the nap they're taking is well deserved. So the main reason I came here, I just want to get up to speed on where stage we're at with the house. I wanted to see if Alex had any questions. The communication varies a little bit there, but they, they always know what they need to do. I'm happy with the progress. And we, then well, once we get it all cleaned up, going through, that's when I walk through with Alex and find any little minor details and changes. And we do that with the homeowner as well. So let's go check another job. So I gotta get this one. Okay, I just uh, realized why we do not have anything framed over the garage is we're missing a big steel beam. So I, I had the guys measure it and uh, with steel, they call it W16 by 45, which the 16 means how tall it is. The 45 means how much it weighs per pound. So uh, I've just, I gotta call this in real quick, get this thing ordered and see how long it's going to, to take. That's all this company does, they just supply steel. Hey Chris, uh, this is Brad. How long, I need a uh, W1645 steel beam sent out to a job. Is that a special order? Oh good, uh, I need it 26 feet, eight inches long. I'll send you an email so it's confirmed, so there's no confusion, and uh, we're ready for it. So no post, just a big steel beam. All right, thank you, bye. All right, so that's good. It's not a special order. And uh, get it out here, and these guys can set the big steel beam in the garage. We do these garages such the huge steel beam, so we do not want any posts in the garage. So you drive your car in, nothing to bang your doors on. So for that, they get bigger, and longer and heavier and they cost more, but it's, uh, who wants a post in their garage? So got that handled. I just got to send them an email. Okay, I'm at, uh, uh, this rental house that I'm purchasing and I need to meet a few subs to go over some estimating and pricing. Today I'm meeting a painter. This is one of those lipstick on a pig, but I'm trying to make it a little nicer like we do with flares. So this is a painter that's worked on one of our other jobs that one of our homeowners found. If the homeowners are willing to practice with some of these new subs and they did a great job, then uh, that's how I sometimes get new crews. So I don't like people to practice on me, but if they'll do it on their own and take the chance to save some money, I'm all for it. So hi there, hola. So I'm Brad. Hi, I'm nice I'm meeting Wendy. you. Hi, Wendy. Well, good. So we're, uh, we videotape and kind of keep track of the house. You okay with okay, that? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So we'll go inside and we'll take a look where it's okay. not so caliente. Muy caliente. Muy. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Uh, yeah. You did a nice job on the uh, house on Cary Street. Uh, yeah. yeah. This one, we're doing the same thing. We're taking out some walls, all new kitchen. So, oh, it's a little nice in here. A little, little, is it frio? Is that the right word? Frio, see, all right, I'm working on that. The kitchen, you don't have to worry about because we're putting all new cabinets, they'll be pre-finished, okay. Okay? okay? For now, we're, 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 we're gonna remove this, but I really just, for something simple, I'll bring my drywall back, and we're gonna, just gonna paint all the woodwork. 
So all this will get one color, and this, all the walls, another color. I think we're calling it um, agreeable gray. So walls, here, the doors. No, C. C, yeah. Okay. All new floors, all new bathrooms. So what do you think? We don't mind the grain showing through. We're okay with that. We're the grain, so that's okay. So we'll go downstairs. <laughs> Got a ride. Yes. Yeah, all right. So what we thought we'd do too is to keep costs down, but it'll be more for paint, is do the same thing, paint this okay. and, and the walls. So this would, we might even do it the same color as, as the walls. We want to come in like you did at uh, Steve's exterior of his home. Mm -hmm. Do the same on this. Okay. Primary paint. C. Yeah. Okay, I just wrapped up with the painters. Uh, they're going to be giving me an estimate. They do nice work, so I'm excited to kind of see what their labor bill comes in at. But there's a lot of work that has to happen. So I'm back here checking on some things and what we do at this stage because I'm coming and going as the guys are demoing. I had my uh, son, Max, and then my, remember my intern, Cal, he's been uh, helping out quite a bit. They wrote on the wall here, can this wall be removed? And it's, it was the door going to the basement. If you step on this side, you can see how I opened it up. I don't know what possessed the original builder of this. This should have been a staircase going up to nowhere. <clears throat> I have no idea why they angled it. So we're tearing that out. So. They've taken this wall out. They didn't know where to stop. <clears throat> they went a little too far, which is no big deal. So I'm showing this part stays. We might as well use this wall as our start and stopping point so we don't have to do any more framing. So I'll have them demo this. And they were concerned if this is holding anything else upstairs. And uh, I've gone up, I've taken a look. I'm pretty sure that it does not. So I'll let them know that that probably can be removed. So as we took this one wall out, we got the electrical hanging from the ceiling. I have an electrician coming in. We're gonna add even more can lights into this house. As you can see, this room has no can lights at all. So the cabinets are gone, got them in the garage. We threw most of them away, but I have a weird master bath vanity I wanna show you guys. I gotta figure out, I think I figured out how to solve this problem. This is the weirdest vanity of all because there's no place to put a mirror. What I'm trying to figure out, I have 45 inches from here to here. And so I'm trying to figure out, do I take this vanity out and run it this way? Which, that's gonna be a problem because it's gonna stick out and I can't get into the toilet. So the only option I have is to measure this wall and I have 35 inches to get a vanity, but then I gotta figure out, I'd like to have 24 inches would be nice. So I'm gonna mark this on the floor. From here to here would be a Comfortable because sometimes they even make doors believe it or not that are two foot wide doesn't look like that's much bigger So I'm gonna mark on the floor since this floor is coming out. I can draw on it That's what I need so I'm, I'll measure the distance that's left. I have 20 inches of a vanity so I can go 20 inches this way and What I say 35 let me pull up my phone. I took a bunch of pictures when I was at Menards. So here's one. It's not that great. So I took a picture of the vanity. Oh, here's the one I think my wife likes. She liked this one right here. I can go to 32, so that will fit. I want to find out how deep it is. That's 18 inches. This one will work. So I'll go back to my wife, find out which one she likes the most. So that solves that problem because before we had mirrors on both walls. Now we're going to switch it around and uh, put the, the mirror here. I should not be writing with permanent marker, but uh, we're going to hang a mirror there. So I feel good about that. That'll help make that bathroom not so weird. I did find out, some, uh, somebody called me, one of the subs over here says there's a problem with the downstairs toilet. That doesn't sound good, so I need to check that out. Let's see, <laughs> Let's see what I'm in for. All right. Oh. Not good. Looks like a 7-Eleven burrito. That's, I don't have a plunger. So if I don't get that thing fixed, it's gonna be on the floor. So it looks like I'm uh, going to Ace Hardware 
to get this burrito flushed down the toilet. Whoever did that, I'm sure is coming back. Yeah, I'm gonna find out who did that. It's coming out of their paycheck. That's all they need to do on a Friday afternoon is plunge toilets. I'm Brad the Builder, not Brad the Plumber. Okay, so I need a plunger. I'm gonna keep the receipt so I can send the bill to the guy that did that to me. Where I would find a, I think I'm getting warmer. Plumbing fixtures, yeah, plunger. Do I charge, get him the 16 to $22 one? This is not gonna do the job. We're gonna need something a little bigger. What do you even use that for? I don't, maybe, <laughs> so it's uh, this, this there's gotta out. be a sink or porta or a little kid's potty. This is kind of pretty. Kind of goes with the shirt and the hat. I'm going for the Brad the Builder blue. Still can't believe I'm doing this on a Friday afternoon. Usually I have fun Fridays on Friday, but today I'm a turd toter. Got my plunger, and I thought I'd pick up a few more things while I was here on my Friday afternoon. Let's go see if we can get this thing unstuck. We're pushing five o'clock on a Friday, and this is what I have in my hand versus a martini. Not happy. Let's see if we get this thing Unplugged. Okay. One. Oh my God, what did this guy eat? Okay, let's see if it flushes. Another fix by Brad the Builder. But in the meantime, I tied this pretty little toilet paper bow. So I'll put that on the seat for the next guy. Let him know how thoughtful I am. I'm gonna put a sign, no more 7-Eleven burritos. Now I want to turn off some lights down here, but I, I want to show you guys ahead of time what a good deal I got. This huge shuffleboard table came with the house and I had the guys cover this thing up. It's a pool table. I don't know what made them think the pool table is okay to cover, but not the shuffleboard table. So I got to get some plastic for that. I write on the walls. I want to know this stays. We might as well leave that wood. If I tear it off, that's going to create even more expense. So I'm just going to leave that wood and paint it. I went over that with the painter. So I can't tear this out. This is all duct work. I always try to save that. I've already written on here, this stays. And uh, oh, I got a little door I didn't know about. I didn't know where, I even had this thing. I don't know if there's a light. Let me see. Looks like I'm under the step. I got a nasty little room. Oh, we got some uh, vinyl stuff. I wonder if that's from the pool table. Oh, I know. I think it's from the bar in the other room. Get carpet. Okay, we got a, oh, that must be the garage wall. Oh, look at here. We got a little, looks like a mood ring. I don't know what that is. Oh, we got a little necklace of some sort. Hey, we're, we're hitting a mother load. Pencil, notebook. Hey, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Let me, let me bring it out. There's a washboard. There's some, this is junk box. Oh, there's a suitcase. <clears throat> what the heck? Let me bring this out. It's an old suitcase and it's heavy. Oh, this is a, an old washboard. Wash, wash, wash. But I think you would, I don't know, the old timers would play it. It's probably out of Flair's family. He would know what to do with this thing. So I'm excited about this thing. I bet it weighs like 10, 15 pounds. Let me see if I can open this booger up. It's uh. Let me see. It's like it's locked. I don't know. You're supposed to be able to push on these things to get them to open. They stuck? Yeah, they're, they're stuck. But it looks like it's uh, at least from the 50s or 40s. I mean, I've, this has got the old leather handle. That's all brass hinges. They don't make it that way anymore. What, what do you think could looks, be in this it thing? Looks like, it looks like you need a key to line up the keyhole. See where that line is? Yeah. Right I don't even, I wonder if I can even get a, I don't have anything on me to, to do that. What do you, what do you think we should do? Take it back to my office and just pry this thing open, see what's in there? Yeah, I mean, you, I don't know, you want to, you should take it back. I bought the house. It's mine. Everything that came with it. What does it say? What does that say? I can't read it. Can you read it? Elk? Elkhart? Elkhart. I don't know. Hopefully it's a bank somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Maybe this is full of money. 
<laughs> wouldn't, I don't know about that. Wouldn't that be nice? I, mean, I don't know. Look at See if there's like a key. I doubt it. Let me see if there's a, there's maybe like a key in here with all this other stuff. Yeah, I found it. Clear back in here. What else is there? Oh, there's a key chain. No key. This is... Oh, this is... Uh, might be from prom, I don't 1956. Know what you, need to get out of here. you might have to demo it. Yeah, now I gotta stairs. wash my hands after touching this thing. Who knows where this garter belt's been? There's no key. So let's take that thing back and see what's in it. If it's full of money, that's our secret. <laughs> I officially closed on it. They gave me everything on the inside. So I'm taking this this thing home. All right, let's go uh, back to the office. My Friday afternoon. Might turn into something fun after all. Go oh, bust open this suitcase and see what we got in here. So what do you guys think? What do you think's in this suitcase? I'm hoping it's like $1 million, but uh, I'm not getting my hopes up. There's gotta be something. It's old and heavy. Gosh, I don't know, I have, I have no idea. I can't wait to open this thing up. So I'm heading to my office right now. If we have to get a saw to cut this thing in half, that's what we're gonna do, but I don't think it's gonna come to that. So let me find a place to set this down. Don't look at my shop too close. It looks like the bottom of a woman's purse. All right, got a table out. Let's use a, uh, I don't know. This might be too uh, forceful. I find a, maybe we can get a little screwdriver. You would think I'd have something. There we go, there we go. Now I'm gonna get made fun of because I probably didn't use the right tool because I'm still hearing it with you guys from not using the right drill bit. So I'm not sure what tool you're supposed to use to open up a, case that has a million dollars in it. All right, let's uh, see if I can jimmy rig this thing. That, if I can open this thing up. If I can push, man. You got a mini crowbar? Let me see what I got in here. Oh, you ask and you shall receive. All right, let's see. All right, if I can get that underneath there. This is what I'm thinking. I'm gonna put that underneath it if you can. Like underneath there, give yourself a little leverage. Yeah. <laughs> You're turning red, Brad. I know, oh, there we go. All right, there's one down. Nice. Let me push. <clears throat> I'm just gonna bust it, twist it. You want me to hold this side? Hold that down. There. All right. Now the suspenseful <laughs> moment. Take a guess what's inside before we open oh it. Oh my gosh, I could do like that uh, dollar thing where we open it this way <laughs> and we like, guess. Like, uh, like uh, uh, what's that show? Yeah, you want a dollar or you uh, won one million dollars. So, okay, we need a drum roll. I don't know, it's, it's, uh, it's I know it's not a million dollars, but you ready? Do it on three. Ready, one, two, three. A horn! <laughs> what the hell? But it's an old horn. It's a trumpet. It's, oh, it's a trumpet. <laughs> Look at this. It's a, it's, I like horns. <laughs> it's perfect for perfect you. Perfect yeah, for me. Say, it's but perfect. it's kind of a wah, wah. We were expecting like something really razzle dazzle. But let's see. Are you really about to see if that thing works? I don't know if I want to you put gotta, my lips on that. Yeah, you might want I'll to do one of these. And this, I want to be able to do it because this is the, this is the womp. That's like a duck call. Flair's got nothing on me. I can go out there duck hunt with this big bad boy. So I don't know, maybe this is worth some money because it's an old horn, but it, I, but when you start seeing duct tape on there and then it's got a little, what the heck is that for? Are you sure it's not hiding something maybe in here? Oh, well, let's keep looking. Yeah, there's more to maybe it. there's a little. Maybe, maybe maybe it's just a decoy. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, let's see. There is there is a little hidden panel. Now you, hold on. Now I'm going to get more tools out. There is a hidden panel in there, isn't tearing there? tearing this thing apart. Hey, guys. What? Whoa. It's got sheet music. This is like when I get Christmas cards from my mom. I shake out, see if there's any money in there. It doesn't really say what year. All right, this is fun stuff. So 
I don't know. Thank you guys for being patient and sticking with me on this deal. I had fun. I was hoping for a little bit more money, but we got a horn out of the deal. So thanks for watching and uh, let's see what else we can find. Maybe there's some stuff behind the walls as we start digging into this house, but I most likely doubt it. it's not old enough. So I'll see you on the next job site. Whoa! Should I jump to it? <laughs> <laughs>